Hello and welcome to a quick video where we're going to be discussing a quick tip for how to deal with um, integers in uh, analytics. Uh, so one of the problems that you might run into uh, that you might not realize right away uh, is when you're dealing with integers. So we're going to deal with this raw value table uh, in a database. So let's say you have these numbers that are an int field. So you see that they're all, uh, you know, there's no point zero there's there's no decimals this is a, a full number right um well one of the issues you you run into when dealing with integers in a database specifically sql server is when you then try to do a division so in this case we're just doing a, basically trying to figure out uh, what percentage of these numbers here are um, less than 15. Uh, so in total uh basically if you were to run this division what you'll end up getting is zero so this is a really common problem uh, and sometimes not uh, right away apparent when you're doing giant um, calculations that you have an issue because it's like, okay, well, maybe this is a divide by zero. Like maybe this did equal zero. Maybe um, maybe the sum was zero and this is zero or, or something. So it could be a little confusing, but the, the problem is considering both of these factors are zero, um, that this is zero, or sorry, that um, the final factor is zero, it's not, it's because the, the actual number is a decimal and the value is actually rounded uh, to zero. So actually, if we were to do greater than 15, I suspect we would probably see that now we'll get one. Oh, no, it's still zero. Well, that's fine. The point is when we multiply this, or in, it, in order to actually get the full percentage, we'd have to say multiply by 1.0 because what this will do is actually transfer the value. See, now we see the full value into a float value. So now we actually get this decimal value. And so that's really it for this video. It's just a quick tip and reminder that, you know, when you're dividing uh, numbers and you expect a float, if you have an integer, you will not get an integer uh, or you will get an integer and you won't get a float. And so that will throw your whole thing off from your whole calculation, especially when you start doing more analytics um, and calculations, you'll have issues. So thanks so much for joining this video. Um, hopefully, if you have any questions or tips and tricks with uh, databases, analytics, automation, etc., just feel free to send us. Thank you. Bye.